What's good point about marrying a Korean man? <laughs> hmm. Do you think? Hmm. Let me think. Wait, 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 wait. Hello, David. Do you think Muslim girl can marry a Korean guy? Many subscribers asked me this. Honestly, marrying a man from certain country might be a bit of a strange question, but actually, I was really wondering too if a Muslim girl can marry a Korean guy. Because to marry a Muslim girl, Korean guys have to convert to Islam. I will tell you later, it's really not easy in Korea. But go back to the question. The answer is yes. Because I'm going to interview right now Muslim girls who married Korean guys. So I will ask about the marriage life and whether they are Muslims convert to Islam and if they really keep the rules of Islam, then here we go. Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. Here is Jay Kim and here is Ayah salah. Ayah salah. Nee. Ayah kriu salah. Salah. Oh. Nee. Kau tak apa itu? Kau tak salah ya? Apa tu salah aku? Salah tu salah aku. Oh. Today's topic is how is marriage with Korean guy. So I will ask some questions that you can wonder. Can you introduce yourself? Uh. Hello guys. My name is Ayah. I am. I'm 26 years old. I guess. Ah. Yeah. 92. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Egypt. And I've been married to a Korean guy for five years, or four years. Four, four years. years. <laughs> My name is Ahlam. I'm from Morocco. I'm 23 years old, and I'm married to a Korean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious that how did you meet your husband? We met when I was back in Egypt, and he was uh, there studying. I used to live with Korean um, Korean students. And he was their uh, sombe, and that's ah, how senior. Yeah, yeah, he was their senior, and oh. that's how we we met. And at first we were just friends, and then mm. kind of escalated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I met him through the friend in common, soul getting. Uh, so I got to know him for a short time. After that, like he liked me, I like him. Yeah, he wanted to propose for me, but that time I had to come back to my country. Uh, we were just talking, chat, and video calls like every day. And after that, we got married in December. I think that's really brave that you decided to get married and come to Korea. Because of love. <laughs> <laughs> so next question is, were there any objections from the families? Not his family, I guess. His family were more open about the relationship, but my mom really wanted me to marry an Egyptian person, and she was kind of against me living abroad, so uh, she was afraid that I would never come back. Mm, so yeah. Mm, so. Uh, yeah. Right now, there's okay. there's no objection at all. Like I guess my mom loves him more than she loves oh. me. So yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what mothers do. Yeah. <laughs> there was no one who said like no, I don't want like that. Wow. I'm so thankful for that. My parents are open-minded. The only thing they wanted, I should get married to a Muslim. Of course, they want to meet the man I'm going to marry with and get to know him. So the moment we got engaged in Morocco, my husband stayed a week in our house. Oh, so they got to know each other. Like oh, my wow. parents saw him, he saw them. Yeah. He was so polite with them, respectful. Oh, wow. They love him so much. Like uh, your family yeah, love him too. Yeah, they like my husband. Like they're oh. yeah, we're saying like I'm their daughter. He's <laughs> their son. Wow. And from my husband's side, his family understand. They were okay. They didn't say like no or something. I was a little worried. My mother-in-law they like oh no she's foreign or something. But no, she was so oh. understanding. He encouraged him. Yes, do it. Do what you want. If that makes you happy, good luck. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that no one opposed and they glad your marriage. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm curious that how is life in Korea as a foreigner wife? I think life in Korea is really fast, fast. and yeah, it's really really fast. You have to push yourself to like learn new stuff to be better and yeah, right. a lot of competitions. 그리고 사람들 항상 바빠요. 맞아요 맞아요. 이집트는 좀 나요. Mm, like, in Egypt, everything is very slow. You don't feel the pressure in Egypt as you feel it in Korea. Well, the 
student life in Korea is very comfortable. I like just how much it, Korea is safe. Even you go uh, late time, there's no need to worry. I like the internet. <laughs> in internet, Korea. yeah, it's still fast, right? <laughs> yeah, the coffee shop, <laughs> transportation. Uh... Yeah, I like how Korean people are kind. Like foreigners, if you ask them something, they like to help you and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there are many good things yeah, yeah. <laughs> living in Korea. Yes, I like Korea. So I think this question is that you can wonder. Mm -hmm. Did your husband convert to a Muslim? Uh, yes. In order to marry with a, a Muslim girl in any of the Arabic countries, you actually have to convert to Islam. Mm. So, so yes, he converted. I'm curious that how to convert. First, you have to go to the mosque, uh -huh. and then you have chairs about uh, like Islam. There's documents. And then they give you the document after uh, you, you know, fulfill the the required hours. Uh, that's it's, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. After he got to know me, he knows that. It's like a duty to become a Muslim. Mm -hmm. If you're not Muslim, you cannot marry this That's Muslim right. girl. So he just had to convert. Oh. Like I'm his wife. I'm Muslim. So he also Muslim. We're Muslim family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. really not easy to meet Korean who can accept Islam. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. It's nice. So does your husband understand Islam well and abide by Islamic law? Well, actually. His major in college was Arabic language and Islamic studies. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel like he understands Islam even better than I do. Oh. So yeah, because he, he studied it uh, professionally. So yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes. And I was like, I, the first time I saw that, like he respects it and follow like Islam. I was very surprised. I was thinking maybe it's hard for him first, but he was really trying hard in everything. Routine. So he doing it pork yeah, and pork and haram and fasting. He did. Yes. Wow. Guys, I will tell you about this later. It's really not easy for Korean guys. Even for Muslims. Like, yeah, even I'm for Muslim. Muslims, the yeah. first time I tried, I was trying to fast. Like mm -hmm. in Ramadan, the first time it's become tricky for me. Mm -hmm. It was so hard. I, I was going to die that day. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, yeah, you even can't drink water. No drinking, yeah, yeah. no smoking, no eating, nothing. That's really interesting. You really follow the Islamic law. The important thing is he tried to follow and study about your culture and religion. I learned about his culture, he learns also about my culture. Mm. Like that. So, I'm curious that what's good point about marrying a Korean man? <laughs> hmm. Do you think? Hmm. Let me think. Wait, 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 for one. <laughs> I think Korean guys are really sensitive in a good way like they're really sensitive about what the girl feels like what their partner feels and from my experience he's really respectful of my choices he's really supportive of me almost everything that I chose he was like okay go for it you can oh. it's really supportive and they're really romantic they're more um, they can take care of their lady uh, I guess I think <laughs> Well, you said the Korean man, well it doesn't depend on Korean man or any other country because it just depends on the people. But like in my case, my husband is very kind, polite, cute and sweet. <laughs> He's a gentleman, like I can say. He respects me, he supports me in everything I want. He likes what I like, encourage me. He's my husband, he's my friend, he's my love, he's my everything like that. He means a lot. Now I understand that you gave up everything and come to yes. Korea to marry him. <laughs> and I'm ready to give up more things. <laughs> oh, you really love him. Oh. I can see it I loudly. Can see <laughs> you can shout out to her. I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Many foreigners are worried about this. Are there any problems because of your culture difference? Uh, we had some like arguments because like the, the difference in cultures before. I would think something and he would not really understand why I thought like this or like the other way around. But it was not like uh, big stuff. It was not like big issues or something. It was just small things. And uh, talking about it, like conversation and talking, whatever is happening, whatever I feel, whatever Whatever he feels is, is really important to overcome any issues when you have like different cultures because any issues that comes uh, out of it is just because we don't know mm. the other culture of the other person so mm. talk is the most important thing. Yeah, it's just I guess understanding, try to always think that whatever is obvious to me and whatever is like uh, 
really, really talking and discussing everything. You cannot just assume that the other person is gonna understand or the other person, of course, he has the same uh, beliefs or like the same uh, thoughts as I do because I was raised with those thoughts or like with this culture, but the other person was not. So yeah, right. we have to talk about everything. We have to be more open and, mm. and understanding to the other person. Mm. So yeah, you have to be patient. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> you have to be patient. Yeah, that's true. If you don't say, they don't understand. They don't understand. Yeah, right. yeah, they don't know, even know what is the problem. So. Yeah, that's true. You have to talk. Nobody can read minds. Well, I don't think that there is any like different culture between us. Maybe there is, but I don't feel it. Because we try to understand each other. We learn about each other's cultures. We, instead of fighting or something, we try to explain, this is how I think, this is how you think, like that, and try to solve the problem. Oh. And not to make it bigger. Yeah, so you mean there is cultural differences, but you guys understand each other and talk with each other, so... Yeah, yeah I don't say nice. like this is wrong, but mm -hmm. it might be wrong in my culture, in my thinking, but it might be right for him. Mm -hmm. Like right, we try right. to understand oh, that, yeah. Just two different people meet. Yeah. together so you have to understand yes that's all right mm. <laughs> next question is many foreigners ask me mm -hmm. that yeah they worried about this problem what is your relationship with your mother-in-law because in korea uh, the family relationship is so much important so how's it actually the family relationship is really important in the arab countries as well like yeah, 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 uh, exactly right. yeah it's really really important i guess everywhere even a lot of arab girls are worried about that after married like yeah, mother-in-laws right. unfortunately my mother-in-law passed away before they met my husband uh, he only has his father and his grandma and they're really really nice to me and i really really like them they're like super cool they're super understanding about like everything and i really really love them so i guess i was kind of lucky yeah, i, I lucky didn't girl. yeah i didn't really have any problems yeah. Yeah. in drama or many people said that if you marry a korean guy then your mother-in-law is like a bad person so i was so worried before i met her i was so worried. i was like oh my god can she accept me like mm. oh will she love me well i had many worries worry. but when i met her that was really totally different like I, I even don't feel I'm a foreigner. Oh. Yeah, I feel like I'm a Korean person. She doesn't make me feel like I'm a foreigner. Oh. She treats me like her daughter. I'm just so thankful for her because the first time I came here, it was a little hard for me to adjust here in Korea and I was missing my parents and stuff. But because she was like standing next to me, like making me feeling like she's my mom, I overcome that feeling that. There was my husband, of course, with me, but like I had that parents' emotion, yeah, like yeah, missing. Yeah, right, right. Family. Yeah, yeah, she helped me like overcome that feeling. I really love her like my mom, and I treat her like my mom. So that it be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw in the broadcast. Right? She treat you like weird daughter. Yes. Yeah. Not foreign wife or something. This was so much impressive. I'm so thankful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so this is the last question. If there is some people who worried about marry with another culture, then mm -hmm. can you tell anything to them? Like an advice? Yeah, like yeah, an advice. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy marrying anybody. Actually, people are really different. So even if a person from my own culture, it's going to be really difficult to be with that person if we don't really understand each other and like talk about everything. If we don't match, being with, with someone else from like another culture is really, really hard. But as I said, it's all about understanding. It's all about being open to understand each other. Be open to trying something new. You cannot expect the other person to do all the work for you you cannot be standing where you are and like okay you come to me you know you have to meet halfway so you have to have mutual understanding and i guess you have to read a lot about that culture search oh, a lot yeah. about culture yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and after all if like you two as two individuals if matching and you love each other i guess you can do everything well first for the girls who are getting married or planning to get married congratulations <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to say is that for international marriage in general, not just Korean or Islam country or that, in general, international marriage is like have some difference when you get married to a foreign person. Just try to understand him, the, be patient instead of fighting or like just try to calm down and have so more patience and try to understand each other. So your relationship will be more good. The, before getting married, you should get to know him more. Don't just get married fast. You should know each other first. So things will go well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so today I met Sal. <laughs> 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 
달라 갑자기 생각이 안 나네요. 아, 죄송합니다. 아야요. So I met Aya. Talked about marriage with Korean guy. Was really interesting. And <웃음> thank God. Uh, I really agree that uh, when you meet another person, not only in marriage, the understanding and respect other person and mm -hmm. try to understand other people. That's really It's important really point. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for answering and come to my interview. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so I am at Ahlam today. It was really a good answer, and I hope it can be informative to you if you want international marriages. I hope my speaking <laughs> was helpful for them. Uh, thank you so much, and take care, and see you next other content. Masalama. 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 Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on, come on,